Doris Day was a famous actress who acted in movies for many years. One of her most important roles was in Calamity Jane, where she showed how talented she was. This movie made her very famous. A lot of people first saw her in movies and musicals from the 1950s and 1960s. If you have a special memory or story about this actress, share it with us below. Keep reading because we have interesting facts to share. Doris Day was a famous actress who left a big impression in entertainment. She was loved by many for her talent and charm. One of her most famous roles was in Calamity Jane, where she showed how versatile she could be. In her career, she acted in many movies and always drew audiences in with her talent. Even today, her films still entertain and inspire people. Doris Day's influence went beyond just her time. She is remembered as one of the greatest actresses of her era. Her place in movie history shows how talented she was and how much she is still admired. Doris Day played Josephine Conway McKenna in The Man Who Knew Too Much. It was her second time working with child actor Christopher Olsen, after I'll See You in My Dreams. In Send Me No Flowers, she was Judy in her third and last movie with Rock Hudson as a married couple. In Young Man with a Horn, her character Joe Jordan was different from the book, where Joe was originally African-American. They show with her talent by playing diverse roles in these films. People loved her performances, and she became a famous actress in movie history. Her acting still grabs people's attention today. In Send Me No Flowers, Judy, played by Doris Day, was portrayed by the talented actress. Before that, she starred as Kate Robinson Mackay in Please Don't Eat the Daisies. In another film, The Man Who Knew Too Much, she played Josephine Conway McKenna. James Stewart handed her a large glass of alcohol, likening it to medicine, similar to what Carol Lombard did in Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Day also appeared as Julie Benton in Julie. Producer Martin Melcher struck a deal with Chrysler Motors for product placement, providing cars for many of her projects. Even in the Doris Day show, Chrysler remained the go-to for automobiles. Her talent shone in diverse roles, earning fame in movie history. Her performances continue to captivate audiences today. Doris Day starred as Kit Preston in Midnight Lace with costumes designed by Irene, who later tragically ended her life. Two years after the film, Irene's life came to a sad conclusion when she jumped from a window at the Knickerbocker Hotel. In Move Over, darling Doris Day played Ellen Wagstaff Arden alongside James Garner and Elliot Reed, who also appeared together in The Thrill of It All. WB changed her birth year when she signed with them, making her two years younger on paper. However, her true birth year was confirmed much later in 2017 by the Associated Press, revealing she was born in 1922, not 1924 as previously stated by the studio. Despite this discrepancy, Doris Day always knew her true age and was open about it, unlike her spokesperson who misled the public. Doris Day, a versatile actress known for her diverse roles, showcased her talent in the movie Romance on the High Seas. In this movie, she played the character Georgia Garrett. Alongside Janice Page, they charmed audiences with a brief duet, sporting matching up swept hairdos. Transitioning to television, she starred as Doris Martin in The Doris Day Show. This sparked curiosity among TV critics because of her recurring widow roles, leading to sarcastic inquiries about her character's deceased husbands. Interestingly, the Beatles referenced her in their 1970 song Dig It, showing her lasting influence on popular culture. Her versatility across film and television continues to captivate audiences today. Doris Day, known for her versatile roles in film and TV, left a lasting impression on entertainment. In the Doris Day show, she played Doris Martin, captivating viewers until retirement. On the big screen, she portrayed memorable characters like Carol Templeton in Lover Come Back, Sadly, the film's costume designer, Irene, took her own life, possibly due to unrequited love for Gary Cooper. In Midnight Lace, Day's portrayal of Kit Preston was so intense that she struggled to shake off the emotions even after filming ended. Myrna Loy remembered Day's raw emotion on set, showing her dedication to acting. Despite challenges, Day's talent continued to shine in every role, captivating audiences, and leaving a lasting impression on entertainment. In the TV show, she played Doris Martin. Initially, the series struggled with ratings, even with a strong lead-in from the Red Skelton Hour. However, changes in the storyline and a new time slot helped it become one of America's top 10 most-watched series by the end of its second season. In the movie Julie, she took on the role of Julie Benton. 
Despite the film having a low budget, her performance remained captivating, showing her ability to excel in various roles. In the biography Who's Who in Comedy by Ronald L. Smith, her work in the entertainment industry is highlighted, solidifying her status as a prominent figure in comedy. Her versatility was evident in her portrayal of diverse characters, earning her acclaim and a lasting place in movie history. Her talent continues to connect with audiences today, securing her position as a beloved actress. Doris Day, widely recognized for her roles in both movies and television, showcased her talent as Doris Martin in The Doris Day Show. Interestingly, Denver Pyle portrayed her father despite being only two years older. Transitioning to film, she played Georgia Garrett in Romance on the High Seas. Her performance of I'm in Love with Buddy Clark became popular. In Calamity Jane, she changed her voice to fit the character, showing her ability to adapt. Day's talent in playing different roles made her a significant figure in entertainment history. Her performances still captivate audiences today, demonstrating her influence on popular culture. Doris Day played Julie Benton in the movie Julie. Even though the character she portrayed didn't sing, her singing skills stood out in the title song, which got an Oscar nomination. In Teacher's Pet, she acted as Erica Stone, not realizing she was interacting with James Gannon, who was undercover as Gallagher. She unexpectedly joined the Doris Day show after finding scripts following her husband's death. From Julie Benton to Doris Martin, she played various roles in movies and TV shows, securing her spot in entertainment history. Her performances in both mediums still captivate audiences today. She continues to be remembered for her impact on popular culture. Doris Day, an iconic figure in the entertainment industry, made significant contributions through her work in both movies and television. In Julie, she showcased her exceptional singing talent, earning an Oscar nomination for her performance despite her character's silence. In Teacher's Pet, she played Erica Stone, getting involved with James Gannon unknowingly. Moving to television, she joined the Doris Day show after her husband's passing, finding comfort in the scripts. From her role as Julie Benton to portraying Doris Martin, she showed with great versatility across different platforms, leaving a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. Her influence on popular culture remains evident even today. In the Doris Day show, Doris Day played the main character alongside Denver Pyle, who acted as her father even though he was just a bit older. Later, she starred in Romance on the High Seas as Georgia Garrett and sang I'm in Love with Buddy Clark, which became popular. In Calamity Jane, she changed her voice to fit her character, showing how good she was at acting differently. She could play all kinds of roles, which made her very important in entertainment history. Even though she stopped acting, people still love her because of the great work she did. She was very charming and talented, and people all over the world still enjoy watching her movies.